Hi there, Kayla here from Vine Skills, and today I'm going to be sharing with you what to do when an employee leaves your company or your firm and you need to get them out of your FileVine org because you don't want them to have access to anything anymore, of course, for privacy reasons, but also you need to get their tasks and their projects and everything assigned over to a new user. So what I'm going to caution you against is don't start here. Don't go up to the three line menu. Don't go to orgs. Don't go to members and just find their card, you know, and go in here and automatically remove them. Don't do that. You want to take care of all of your projects and your tasks before you remove them from your org. Now, depending on the size of your firm, it's important to point out that there's two different ways that you could do this, right? So you could start out by doing things manually. So you could go into your project here, you could find the tasks in activity. So once you get over into the advanced menu, and remember, you do have to have certain permissions in FileVine to do this. You're typically going to be a FileVine org admin if you are taking on uh, this project. So you're going to want to go over and find the task utilities down here. Once you're in here, you're going to see a screen where you're able to actually bulk reassign the tasks from one user to another. So you're going to be able to select your current user. So in my case, we are using this Kayla 3 user, and then I'm going to be able to select the new user. I'm going to select uh, my current user ID that I'm using here. FileVine's always going to give you a message telling you what it's doing. So it says this will change the assignee on all uncompleted find skills sandbox tasks from Kayla delete user tests to Kayla C. That is what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and assign tasks. I'm going to get a little completion message down here showing that the tasks have been reassigned. I'm going to go back to my example project here. And I'm going to go back into activity. And when I break out this task here now, you can see that it was reassigned to me. So it's no longer to Kayla 3, it's now been assigned to Kayla C. So that is a super quick way to reassign the tasks when you're gonna be taking a user out of FileVine. You wanna make sure that that is done, uh, you know, before you actually take the user out. Now, Removing someone from a project and replacing them with a new user is kind of going to be the same as the tasks, right? So you can manually go into your project, into Teams, and then you can go ahead and, you know, select the next person that you want to be uh, that assigned role or else uh, be subscribed if you're replacing the subscriber, right? So you could go in here, choose a different team member, and move on from there. So for instance, I could find myself in here. We're gonna move away from this old Kayla user and move to this new one. I'm already an admin, but maybe the previous user was also the case manager. So I wanna make myself the new case manager. And then I want to subscribe myself because I'm taking over this case. At the same time, if this person was already, uh, you know, the case manager, so I'll just put the role on there for us here. I could go in then and I could manually remove that role and I could also subscribe or unsubscribe them if I wanted to because I've now already replaced that person with the new user above. I also have the option to just select the old user and fully delete them from the project using the little trash can here. Now removing someone manually like that is you know, a little bit of a pain. So I don't recommend that. I recommend making sure that you have all of your projects reassigned and then just removing the user at the end in setup. Otherwise, you're going to be wasting a lot of time and effort. If this person has a lot of projects that they're already on, I'm just going to remove these permissions here because I'm not going to stay on Gandalf's case. Um, but if the person has, you know, a lot of files that they're already on, you can use the mass update tool over in advance. So we're going to go back to advanced and then we are going to go to mass permissions. 
And from here, you're able to mass update permissions, roles, and primary. So if I were to select on that, I could select uh, who I want the new user to be that's going to be taking over those projects. So for instance, I've been using myself here. And then I could also select what permission I'm going to grant the user on these projects that they're taking over from the old Kayla. Uh, so I want them to be an admin. And then I would go in here and I would find the file list of the old user. So I've already created my file list. So here it is at Kayla three list of projects. And then I can either subscribe or unsubscribe this new user that I'm putting onto that project or the person that's taking over the project. So I'm gonna make that subscribe. And then I could also choose the role here if I wanted it to be case manager. And I could mark that I want them to be in the first position. So they would be the first primary case manager. And then I would go ahead and queue the update. We actually have a separate video outlining this process from start to finish. So I highly recommend you check that out if you want to see the full walkthrough. So once you've went ahead and you've reassigned all your tasks, you've reassigned all the projects to the next user, then that's when it's time to go ahead, go into the three line menu, go over to setup, go into orgs, go into members, you can finally find that card here, and then you can go back over to the end, over to the org admin tab, and you can remove this person from the org and all projects. It's always gonna ask you if you want to do that one more time. I'm not gonna go through and click that right now, just because I do wanna keep my sample user in here, but you would click that. It's going to give you a message when the person has been successfully removed, and then you know you're good to go. So I hope this tip helped and that you check out some of our other videos. Thanks.